Hello guys, or if you're new here, welcome. Wait, what? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm looking a bit pale. <laughs> I haven't done the rest of my face because what I really wanted to do in today's video is a full face with my 2020 Pan That Palette, the Blood Sugar Palette. I'm pretty sure I've done this. I don't know if I did it with Subculture, my last Pan That Palette. I'm pretty sure I did this once with one of my previous Pan That Palettes. I had two before this one. In 2018, I panned the Marc Jacobs Style Icon Palette in Lolita. And then in 2019, I panned the ABH Subculture Palette. I've got playlists for both of those Pan That Palettes. If you guys just want to binge watch and see me over a year pan both those palettes. Spoiler alert, I did it. <laughs> But since this palette is a lot bigger and it's got like a nice variety of like shades that you could use for blush, highlight, contour, bronzer, I really wanted to make sure I did a full face with this palette. And now that we're basically past the halfway mark for this, I really wanted to dig in and just try a full face and see what happens. And I'm, I'm not gonna like, I don't know, do this for like funsies and like just throw things on my face for the sake of having them on my face. I'm actually gonna try. I really wanna make this like a good solid look that I would wear out of the house if we were allowed out of the house. <laughs> that being said, I'm just gonna try to make this look like presentable. That's, that's the right way to put it. So to begin with, I've done my foundation, concealer, and face powder. So I've already got all of that on. And then I set it with a quick setting spray just to make sure it didn't look too powdery. And that's all I've got on. So with this palette, we're going to do bronzer, contour, blush, highlight, brows, and then of course my eyes. So let's dig in. So since my face and my powder is done, the first thing I would then go into is bronzer. So let me just adjust my mirror. Mirror has been adjusted. So for bronzer, I think I'm gonna go in with like a mixture of these two shades. This one looks a little too dark for me. I think I'm gonna have to use this shade right here. And that is the shade Cake Mix, though it's got like a pinky undertone to it. I might try to use this light like the darker brown with a light hand so I've got my favorite bronzing brush this is an old uh Morphe brush I think it's an R10 Morphe is so hit or miss I don't really like recommending their brushes uh so I really only talk about like the specifically the ones that I've tried that actually work because I've tried a lot of Morphe brushes over the years and 90% of them are trash so I'm gonna take that light shade that lighter shade mix it and tap off the excess. Let's try here first. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, and I'm sorry if you hear wind, like just now. It is May. You hear that? That's the wind. It is May and we actually got like a frost advisory and I think a storm advisory. It may or may not snow today. Yeah. So we've got that going on. So if you hear wind or if you hear the house creaking, it's because I'm in an attic and it's very windy outside. So let's do, oh, that side ended up a little bit darker. Oopsie. And I do like to bring my bronzer up like on my forehead and stuff. So I'm gonna do a little bit there. Just try to blend this out. It looks a little patchy on this side of my face. Okay, that, that blended out okay, that's the best, but we've got that, so, ooh, the light is just doing things today. Sorry for the lighting going in and out, today it's, the sun is like coming in and out of the clouds and, oh, I'm trying my best with the lighting. <laughs> there, so I think that's good for bronzer. Brought a little bit of color to the face. Now it's time for contour. So I've got my contour brush. This is a NARS Eda brush I got like forever ago. Honestly, not really worth the price. You could find a cheaper brush that does the same thing. I think I'm gonna take that darkest brown and contour with the yet. So let's see. Oh my god, you hear the wind? <sighs> Banana. So take that. Ooh, it's dark. Okay. Light hand. Ooh, that still came out dark. And up here. There. So I like to contour here, and then there's like a little bit right up here at the like temples. And I've got a duo fiber brush from BH Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna blend this out and hope it blends actually. 
I still got a little bit of a stripe there, but it's kind of blending. <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't look terrible, actually. So it just took forever to blend out, and it's not like 100% blended out on this side. This side, I think, actually looks pretty nice. But lesson learned, if I do want to go in and do this again with this contour, I'll probably apply it just with the Dio Fiber brush and like blend it in as I apply. Because I think applying it in that streak and then trying to blend it out wasn't the best idea for this kind of shadow formula. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have our bronzer and our contour on, it is time for blush. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what color I wanted to go in for blush, but I'm kind of feeling the hot pink. <laughs> Just because, either the hot pink or I use one of the light reds. But I think I'm going to do red on my eyes. Yeah, so what I do right on the eyes, I'm going to go in with this hot pink. I've got this big blush brush, which is going to be hard to get into the, the pan. But this is from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to like pinch it. And get a little bit on there oh that's hot pink yep i'm gonna have to tap that off so i'm gonna tap off a little bit on the back of my hand and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do it again tap a little bit in tap it off in the back of my hand because there's a lot coming off in the back of the hand and you know it's a little i think much for like an everyday blush but like recently i've been using a loose blush and i've been going for like a bright kind of heavy blush look like this and i kind of like it so i'm gonna blend it out with a bigger duo fiber brush looking a little rosy but cute all right now i'm just gonna wipe off this in the back of my hand before it stains because these shadows do stain <laughs> All right, now for a highlighter. The shades in here I tried using as highlighter, the two lighter shimmer shades, and they are both kind of dark for me. So, since we went with the pink blush, I think I'm going to take this shimmer shade that I already have pan in and just take that with a light hand and highlight. So we'll do the Cupid's bow. I love highlighting the Cupid's bow. The tip of the nose. Then we will do light there and light here. And blend it out again with my duo fiber. Okay, this, this looks decent. <laughs> it's looking good so far, you know, knock on wood. So the next part is what could start to make or break this look, and that's brows. I challenged myself to try to do brows with this palette. And I think I'm gonna have to go with like this darkest like purpley shade and see how it works. So I'm gonna pop off camera, do my brows real quick, and then prime my eyes. Um, I'm just going to use this um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, and then I'm gonna set it with my face powder. And then we'll come and I'll do a nice bright red eye look. Okay, so we're back. I did my eyebrows and I primed my eyes. And I have to say, they, they look a little weird. <laughs> I ended up mixing two shades for the eyebrows. I uh, mixed this darkest brown shade and then this shade right here. It's looking a little warm and still like red, but I think, cause I'm, I'm going for like a really bright red eye look with this. So I think once the eye look is done, I think it'll look really cool and like editorial. At least I hope it does. Cause otherwise it's just gonna look a little weird. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to do a look that I've done a couple of times and I really like and it really um, takes advantage of like these red shades over here that I haven't really been using a lot lately. This shimmer that I still have not hit pan on yet and that's mainly the look. So I'm not going to do the full like tutorial of this because I really want to save that for the next pan that palette update where I hope I have more pan in this and I'll actually do the step-by-step -step tutorial of how I do the look. So I'm just going to do the look and speed it up a little bit and I don't know, throw some cool music on. <laughs> She a dick died to the manicures and coffee. But don't say that, cause she ain't died. No, she is more than she seems. She a dick died, she a dick died to the manicures and coffee. But don't say that, cause she ain't died. No, she is more than she seems. She a diva like my daughter. Gotta have it, she all done up. And if she see it, if she cop it. She don't care if you don't like her. She rockin' crew necks with some bands she never heard of. Black 
my skinny jeans, dark on in her hair dye. Got an attitude, she'll give it to your fatty. She don't really care what anybody thinks. She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee. But don't say that, cause she ain't that. No, she is more than she seems. She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee. But don't say that, cause she ain't that. No, she is more than she seems. Got her nails like she walking on a carpet. Take a picture. So here we have it. I'm not really to do lipstick. I thought about doing like a chapstick and then tapping a an eyeshadow on over it, but if this was if this was something I was actually going to wear like out and about, I would probably just do a nude lip anyway. But this is my full face of my pen the palette. I'm actually so impressed and like really happy with how this came out. Yeah, it's red tinted because it's a red palette, but now that I have the full eye look on, the eyebrows fit in really well and it looks nice. The, the blush bronzer highlight, I think it looks really cute. Like, oh, I'm really impressed and I'm glad that I was able to use this. Hopefully this will give me some more ideas, some more ways to use the shades that I haven't hit pan on yet, but also just a way to just keep getting use out of this palette because if I go the way that I'm going, most likely I will hit my goal before, like way before the end of this year, which is to hit pan in every shade and really just to use up as much as I can. And then I believe at the end of the year, I'm probably just gonna declutter what's, rest, what's left of the palette because I will have gotten a lot of use out of it by then. And this was fun. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below if there's any other palettes you want to see me do a full face of. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.